Whether you're a photographer or a model or you just wanna look better whenever you take some photos, this is gonna help you out because I'm going to take you from this to this. Are right, y'all ready? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, we're going that way, got it. <laughs> <laughs> What's good you legends? I hope you're doing dope. Today we're talking about modeling and posing men because these are some of my close friends. We got Gus over here. We got Evie over here. Obviously they are not models, but I'm gonna make them look like models today. And we wanna give a big shout out to our sponsor of today's video, which is Cuts Clothing. You four. <laughs> these clothes, man, for real, they make hoodies. They even have some shorts, they even got t-shirts and stuff. They got polos. They do have polos and these, man. Butter. So Guaranteed better. more Look, attraction to women. First link in the <laughs> description, click on it, automatically adds a 15% off discount. I get a kickback from that, and you get to enjoy free content. So it's freaking win. Help us out. Win. I and want maybe, more shirts. And maybe we get more free shirts. More shirts, please. Thank you, thank you. Probably gonna have to cut that one out. <laughs> and number one, guys, it is obviously... Evie. Do some research. It is to do some research. If you haven't heard of this great new app, it's, I don't think you even heard of it, bro. It's called Pinterest. What's that? It's a brand new app, dude, I know. I'm putting you on something. So all I want you to do is just research, whether it be on Google, Instagram, Pinterest, anywhere at all, look up men's fashion or men's models and just get yourself some idea. And photographers, don't be ashamed, okay? We all do it. I still look up poses, he looks up poses. There's nothing new under the sun, man, so you might as well just rip from somebody. We're you know all I mean? posers. <laughs> <laughs> and just before you meet up with your client or your model, you need to review them and then you're ready to go. And on to number two, Bo. And number two, before you even pick up the camera, Camera, man, you need to make the model feel comfortable. And I mean this in a couple of different ways. First thing you gotta do is you gotta bring yourself a portable speaker, okay? Ask whoever you're shooting, say, hey, what is your favorite song? Play that music so they can feel as comfortable as possible. This isn't so serious, it's supposed to be fun, you know what I mean? And also, it takes care of all that dead space that feels awkward when you're telling them, hey, do this, do this, do that, and then. Awkward silence all over. Can I, can I, can I pick the music, please? Here's the speaker. How about I pick the music? <laughs> <laughs> and the second thing to do to make your models feel comfortable is you wanna tell them what you're going to do. You see, for you photographers, you've probably done this a thousand times. But this may be the first time for them, so respect that. I typically say something like this. We're going to sit you here, we're gonna shoot here, I'm gonna tell you, hey, take a breather. It means just to relax, I'm gonna put the camera down. Hey, we're gonna shoot here, why don't you switch this pose? Why don't you try this? I'm gonna say eyes on me, or actually look away, just so that they know what to expect when they start shooting. If you make them feel comfortable, you're gonna get a lot better photos. Remember two things, you wanna give them direction and you wanna give them a little bit of freedom for them to express themselves, because these are their photos, not yours. Go for it. Good. Hey, that looks really good. I really, I really like that one, Joker. Oh. And number three, it is have your model do something. Rapid fire section, everybody. Fix a necklace. Look at their watch. Hit them with the I'm thinking pose. Clasp your hands together like you're about to do something cool. Cross your arms like you got big old biceps, which by the way, you know, it cuts clothing. I mean, you, you make it look like you got big arms just because the way it fits. I don't know what they doing. Half spandex, half con. I don't know what they doing, but it's working. I love it. Hit them with the fix your hair. Sit them down. Tell them to fix their shoes. Walk down some stairs. Lean into something, a wall. Tell them to fix their shirt. For example, like with these, I always go with the size bigger with cuts clothing just because I like it to be a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has different fits. You know what I mean? Anyway, it just helps to tell your model to do something, okay? You don't want them to be like, I'm not sure what to do with my hands right now. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. That's a Talladega Nights You I've guys seen know, that one. You guys know this I've one. one. You know this one? I don't. Oh. <laughs> This is my audience, everybody. <laughs> And number four, you gotta show them how to pose, okay? It is a lot better to show them how to do something rather than just describing with a whole bunch of complicated words. Tie your shoes, untie your shoes, fix your necklace while holding the hood. Push your fingers through your Take hair, your pants off. The majority of the people that you're gonna shoot are not going to be models. So it is your responsibility to give them some kind of direction. And a bonus tip for you guys it is don't force any kind of poses on any one of your models, okay? For some people, your poses are going to work. And for other people, it's not. Some people are stiffer than others. Other people are more flexible or more relaxed. But you just need to watch 
model. They look awkward. Your photo's gonna come out awkward, am I right? I look awkward all the time, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you buy my presets, I mean, they're gonna look dope all the time, right? Listen, if you ain't buying his presets, I don't know what you are doing with your life. I really don't. I really don't. I really don't. Ooh, that's a nice <laughs> <movie. laughs> And number five, it is to look away and then look up, okay? You don't want all your photos to be looking straight at the camera, and you don't want all your photos either to be looking away. Thank you, oh, Captain. <laughs> I got <you. laughs> Sometimes people feel very awkward or intimidated when they're looking straight at the camera. So I suggest telling them to move their body away from the camera and then their head towards the camera, and for some reason, it just works. It's, it's psychiatric. Yes, it is psychiatric. <laughs> it's psychological. But whatever it is that you want to call it, just give it a try. I don't know why, but it just works. And finally, you need to create asymmetry, okay? Not symmetry, but asymmetry. Typically in street photography and shooting buildings and all that kind of stuff, you want to have the same thing on one side and then the same thing on the other. But when it comes to models, it's a little bit different. You want things to be a little bit unbalanced, so to say. Look at all models in the industry that do this professionally. They always have some kind of imbalance in whatever their movement is. You got one leg up and one leg down. You got one hand up or one hand down. You have the tilting of your head. You also have the shifting of your weight. One hand in the pocket and one hand out of the pocket. Just a fun fact, if you're doing the whole pocket thing, make sure that you either put just one thumb in there or you put the fingers in there. But don't do the whole hand because then you just lost a hand. It looks awkward, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I think that that is it. Go ahead and like this video before you head out. I made a video, you give me a like. That's just kind of how it works. And big shout out to Cuts Clothing. They hooked us up with these clothes for this shoot as well as a 15% off discount. By the way, go ahead and comment down below what was your favorite tip that you're going to apply. And in the first 24 hours, I'm gonna give away a free preset pack. Ooh, what do you guys think? Ooh, can I have one? <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, you can go ahead and comment in the first 24 hours. <laughs> Make sure to put your Instagram handle in there so I can know how to find you. But anyway, I think that that is it, and I will catch you on the flip side.